Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am Selena and today I'm going to be talking about Hurricane Helene. I don't think uh, us in the South expected it to hit us as hard as it did. I live above Florida, so um, I just wanted to give y'all an update on what's going on. I, I think it's covered in the media, but as far as my community and just from what I know right here, I do want to share and hopefully you can help someone. So today is what, the 28th? Yesterday, September 27th, Friday, I was supposed to work and there was no guidance on, oh, hold on, sorry, my dog came in. Um, yesterday I was supposed to work. There was no real guidance on, you know, hey, if it's like this, you can take this sick time. So <laughs> the whole morning yesterday, and I woke up at like 6 a.m. just from the, the shaking and the wind and the trees hitting things. And it was just kind of nuts. I text people that are in leadership and there was no guidance there. Then it like the sounds, they just keep getting worse and louder. And this is not funny. It's just kind of comical that, you know, that's going on. And I don't even know if I'm supposed to be at work. Is it safe outside? I'm not sure. My husband, Brad, he's going up and down the stairs, like trying to figure out you know what's going on outside and I will put pictures in here too of what I have um but there's just brush everywhere there's trees in my neighbor's front yard there's trees in my neighbor's backyard it looks like jungle to be honest I'm very grateful that one I live in a house and two that there's minor damage to my house um thankfully no fallen trees but I say that to say I'm just very grateful just very grateful that everyone's okay but I want y'all to keep other people in your thoughts because there is a houseless community nearby where I live. I don't know what happened um, to them and their belongings. There's also a lot of folks who are, maybe they didn't go to the grocery store recently and they didn't have food. Thankfully, I went to Costco and got, I really like that sparkling water, so I have that. But my, my neighbor next door, it's really sad. Her father just passed away. And so the funeral and services are going on this weekend and Monday. So she is that, but y'all just saw parts of her backyard. I'm not gonna post her whole house, but so she's going through a lot right now. Trees, there's just so many homes in my neighborhood that have trees on them, on their roofs and power lines that are blocking the streets. I live kind of in a cul-de-sac, so there's two ways to leave my neighborhood and both are kind of blocked off with just mature trees falling down and then power lines where they're either hanging from from high up or they're on the ground and you're like uh am i allowed to drive on this we actually had a no driving advisory <laughs> sorry it's only funny because i got a no drive advisory before work told me what to do <laughs> Um, I ended up just not going to work to be safe because I don't trust my car in those winds and I, I honestly don't trust myself um, driving in a more crazy, uh, like I have a two wheel drive and my, my car is not equipped to handle more scary stuff. But anyways, no drive advisory happened in the morning, I think 10 or 11 yesterday. And then also there was a curfew of 7.30. So we ended up just driving in the neighborhood just to see what's going on um, later on. And driving was insane. No stoplights were working, which is fine, but it's just hard when not everyone is equipped to know what to do when you are driving in a stoplight. It looked like there could have been several car accidents if people weren't watching because people from all directions were going. It was just very insane. As far as police goes, they were everywhere. They were, I think they were patrolling for the curfew, but there was a police officer in our neighborhood and talking to one of my neighbors um, because she had a fallen tree from her neighbor and it went into her pool. And I looked at it, it looked really bad. It's a lot. And the police said that we'll be out of electricity at first it was five to seven days, now it's seven to 10. So if you have the opportunity, help someone out. Uh, I know my coworker, she has family in Tennessee. They're gonna, they offered for her and her baby to stay there for a few days. So 
if you have the opportunity to help someone in any way, please do, whether that be sending money over or offering your home, um, keeping us in your thoughts, prayers, um, if you pray, you know, just really being mindful because I don't live by the coast. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to keep an ongoing campfire, but yeah, just please keep everyone in your thoughts. I am very lucky. I don't think I got the worst of it and I'm not asking for help. I'm just asking to keep me in your thoughts. But if you know someone in the South, particularly Georgia and Florida, I know I do have some family in North Carolina. They got flooded. One of my family members, their car got flooded waist high. So if you're able to help someone out, please do. This is I know I was smiling because that's kind of my coping mechanism when things happen, but it's definitely serious and I'm not sure how other families and communities are going to get through the next 10 days without electricity. I know there's a few babies in my neighborhood and just, you know, thinking about that or someone who was houseless. So I will post some resources in the description box below and in the comment section. I don't have Wi-Fi or internet, but I'm going to try to upload this video. Hopefully it can get posted this weekend. I'm not sure. But yeah, definitely thinking about all of the Hurricane Helene um, victims. I know there have been some people who uh, lives got affected um, and taken from this hurricane. I forgot to mention, I do have running water. My sister-in-law who lives like 15 minutes away she does not have running water. She does not have electricity. There's a local water main that broke near her and she's also closed in on her street. She can't leave left, she can't leave right. That's just something to think about too. There's a lot of folks in my neighborhood who are stuck between fallen trees and power lines. People are unable to leave. If you are in the community and you are actually able to leave your home, please consider you know driving to the nearest street that you can to help that someone in need bringing them a case of water, just walking it to them, maybe walking some groceries to them, a lighter, um, any type of non-perishable food that you can. I'm really scared to open up my fridge, you know, being strategic as far as what can I get when I open it up to not have it open too long. I'm probably going to keep that fire ongoing and just seeing what I can cook. But yes, I, I do think I have to go back to work on Monday. That might be an opportunity to charge my devices um, because my phone is not above 50% and that's fine. Um, but as far as telling people I was safe yesterday, that was a lot of what I did and kind of documenting what was happening. But yes, please think about the people who are stuck. They have nowhere to go. And if you're able to and you're local, please think about you know bringing something to them, even if it's like a warm blanket or a candle or a lighter, matches, bottled water. My water was looking kind of brown yesterday, but it's fine now. Just be in the know about what's going on too. I'm, I think the rest of this week, it's going to be fine. There, it seems like sunshine the rest of the week where I live. But yeah, that's it y'all. That's all I had to say. It's a lot going on, but please be safe and be careful out there. Um, this is not normally my content but it's definitely important what's happening. As always, I just appreciate you being here. If you want to like, share, subscribe, please share the word about Hurricane Helene and how it's affecting people. Um, and just do your own research. You can see it online. I love y'all and I hope you have a good day and a good weekend and I will see you in the next video.